Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Archery House. Uh, this is the home of the British Institute of Professional Photography in Preston. Beautiful sunny day today. So today we're going to be announcing the winners of the British Institute of Professional Photography uh, Nationals, which will finish up with four winners in four categories. So wedding photographer of the year, fine art photographer of the year, commercial photographer of the year, and portrait photographer of the year, and then with an overall winner. So it's not kind of what we quite expected to be doing. Uh, originally we were going to be in the Graphic Studio Pro Lounge and have a bit of a, a, a drink and, uh, and share some of the uh, amazing images that, that were entered into the competition this year. So I'd like to thank, first of all, Jeremy and uh, Dario and Tulio for uh, allowing us to use the, the Pro Lounge, but obviously everybody's plans have changed and to, to do this announcement today. But here we are, uh, it's still very exciting. It's been a kind of a, a long road. Uh, and before we get into that, I want to explain how the competition worked. So we started off in the summer with the regionals. So what happened with the regionals, there was a call for all the regions to uh, send images up through our digital platform, and then they were marked by five judges. So anything that scored over a 70 uh, straight away was a merit, and also then uh, was asked to come back to, to be printed and judged here at the Archery House. So it's one of the big changes that we made this year was that everything was judged in one place at one time. So all the uh, printed files arrived here at the Artistry House and they were judged separately for each of the regions. It worked really well. The five judges were amazing. I, I thank them for, for their time. Um, but it was a first past the post. So if there was one, only one entry into that subcategory, then that was the winner. And there was no points at that stage. So we were looking for a first, second and third. So the idea behind that was that it would help with the regions, uh, promote the regions, and obviously it's a lot cheaper to enter through the regions than it is through the nationals. So it was a really good way, and we, we saw a huge amount of prints come, th come through. In total for the nationals and the regionals together, uh, we were over 1,200 prints, so, uh, or entries. So uh, very well done, thank you so much. I think it's the largest with the Institute for quite a while, so very exciting. So what happened then is that the uh, obviously they were, they were chosen first, second and third. So we had the regional winners um, and the photographer of the year for each, for each region. We then kind of went through the summer and moved on to the nationals. So we called for the national images. And again, you went through the digital platform. So in this case, there was a, a minimum level of 75 that had to be scored to get through to the nationals. Because of course they are the nationals. So uh, we're looking for much higher quality of, of work. Um, we also then, everything that had come through the regionals, added it together to the nationals uh, to be judged here at the Artistry House only a few weeks ago with five judges. And I want to thank the judges as well. So it was Eric who was the chair of judges. Uh, there was Peter Ellis, Becky Lane, Paul Wilkinson, Karen Massey, Sean Conboy and David Taylor. I want to thank those guys, they did an amazing job. We also had Sharon from, from my office and Chris uh, doing the scoring. It's quite complicated as you can imagine. And we also had three print handlers from the local university who did an amazing job. So they were scored. And the, the way that it works is that we have a digital scoring system. We have some keypads. And it, you start off with 100 points and they remove points for errors or, or things that they see and maybe the print quality in the prints. So that's what we, we, we did. Uh, the scoring system, we, we were lucky enough for uh, Terry at the SWP Peterland, her, her system. And what the way that the system works is that the five judges put a number in, say anything from, let's say, 60 up to 100, then we get an average score at the end of it. Uh, the average score at the end of it uh, can be challenged if, uh, if the judges feel that uh, something's stronger or it needs more points or even less points, then any of the judges can challenge uh, the, the uh, average score. If there's a difference between the least uh, amount of uh, points and the most of 10, then it's an automatic challenge. Uh, so then Eric, as, as the chair, would then question the, 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 um, the people or the judges involved. So it worked really, really well. Uh, we had some amazing images. We had over 170 bronzes. We had around about 20 of silvers. And this year, we didn't have any golds because the standard was high, but the judging was, I think, very tough as well. So congratulations. For the people who've... Uh, I've been awarded a bronze or a silver. Uh, bronze, you would have uh, received an email from me this morning and silver a few days ago. So I can't tell you how proud you should be of what you've achieved. It's an incredible feat uh, to, to, to even get a bronze and certainly the silvers. Um, so the way that this, this, the, the, the scoring system worked is to, to receive a bronze, you had to score between 1886. For silver, it was 87 to 92. 
and for a gold 93 to 100. So very, very highly uh, scored. I know that some of the other print competitions that they're, they're scoring is probably a little bit less than that and that you see a lot more bronze, silvers and gold, but we feel that's right for, as an institute of professional photographers, that that's where we, we set, the, set the goals. This is a very busy image, but still hangs together beautifully. The eyes are taken straight to the sitter, who is wonderfully lit, with classical Rembrandt lighting. The eyes then go around the room and back to the sitter. Even the eye on the far left has a mysterious feel to the image, which also leads you back to the sitter. Overall, a fab image with wow factor and certainly an image I would love to have taken. Overall, the feel of this image is atmospheric. The proud, thoughtful father reading over his speech the day before his daughter's wedding. One of pride for his daughter getting married and the other tinged with his daughter starting her next chapter. This is a great storytelling image. You can sense the emotion from the father as this is the day he's waited so long for. What stood out to the judges was the beautiful tonal range, the striking crispness of this image and the wonderful details in the shadows. And the print quality on this is exceptional. As judges, we don't know the author of the images. So when asked to give feedback on this image, it was a wonderful surprise to find out it was that of David's, who is well known for his stunning wedding work. I personally adore the whole feel of this image, the way the candle lights up the young lady's face, the mystery behind what the image is saying to us, the determination on her face tinged with apprehension. Is this young lady leaving for somewhere? Is she leaving someone behind? Her suitcase is packed, but lays on the floor. Is she changing her mind? A brilliant image is one that leaves you wanting to know more with questions and answered, leaving you to draw to your own conclusions. Once again, this is exceptional print quality and the tonal range to this image is superb. This is a visually stunning image created out of what is a very clever idea. The ornately dressed king and queen are centrally set amongst other pieces on a chessboard. The lighting on the main characters is subtle and well managed and along with the black chess pieces is enhanced by a little rim lighting for better definition and separation from the background. The delicate vignetting of the board and chess pieces draws attention to the main characters as the central interest of the image. The checkerboard which could easily dominate the image has been toned down and the reflections of all the pieces is perfect. This is a very creative and well put together piece of work. Thank you so much for entering this image, Jennifer. The quality of the print, the style of the image, the way you've cropped it, the quality in the beard, the shape of the, the eyes, the way you've got the, the, the canoes under the eyes, they're pierced and they make you want to look at this image. The quality of the skin, whether he's a model or the sailor, you've made it look like he's had a hard life on this Russian ship. Um, many, many congratulations. I think that this is a great image and you should be very proud of it. I think this is a, an absolutely stunning image. Um, compositionally, it's beautiful. Uh, the two leading lines leading up either side of the subject I think are absolutely beautiful. The light upon them is beautiful. The posing I think is stunning. Uh, perfect position of the subject. Um, I think he's got superb contact with the photographer. The eye contact's really, really good. I just think it's a beautiful image. Very graphic image. An absolutely stunning image. It was a beautiful print. The minute the print was put under the lights, you could just see the quality in it, the tonality in it, first and foremost, from just those rich blacks just beginning to um, dense up all the way through to those lush, gorgeous highlights in the eyes. And the way that the author has captured, the way Andrew has captured the expression on this uh, lady's face is just to die for. As a viewer of the image, I'm looking at it now, her gaze just draws you in. And there's this great combination of softness in the skin, that beautiful velvety softness in the light. And then it goes all the way up through to that great crunchiness in the hair and to capture all of those aspects and then get it down onto the printed form is a real skill. It's a beautiful image. It's beautifully captured. The attention of the model is beautifully, beautifully held. It really is an image worthy of its silver award. 
this is a very striking image absolutely love the color tone on this uh, and the, the main thing that captures me here is the connection between the photographer and the actor um, it looks like a publicity shot for a theatre production you're really drawn into the eyes of the character and uh, that's what really captures me most in this image but there's some lovely lighting control uh, particularly like the light coming from the book area onto the actor's face the way his hand comes towards the lens and the way the, the side light on the hand is very very beautiful too so well done to all those silvers. I'm sure you'd agree there's some uh, amazing images there. Beautiful, beautiful images. And I know that the, the judges were really, really excited uh, to have seen those. Uh, so the next thing we're going to talk about is, you can probably see here, we've got in front of us our beautiful trophies, which we would have loved to be handing to you, but we're, we're going to send them in the post. So we're going to talk about the category winners now. There was four categories. There was the wedding category, portrait category, uh, fine art category, and commercial category. So I'm actually going to show you the, the images that have won those um, Photographer of the Year award for, for those subcategories and then we'll talk about who actually won or show you who won the, 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 the overall Photographer of the Year. So here we go. So well done guys. Uh, so amazing achievement uh, and in the wedding category it was this image which was from Gavia Joel. Uh, an amazing uh, beautiful image. First of all, thank you very much for entering this image. We all thought it was an outstanding image and a very good quality. The light that's shining onto the bride's face, the way you've laid the dress out, the look, finding this location, just finding this location was well worth it. Many, many congratulations, Gerber, on, on this award. You have done extremely well. So congratulations to the Business Institute of Professional Photography Portrait Photographer of the Year, which is with this image here. Ta da And an amazing image, the judges were uh, thought it was a beautiful image, and that's David Calvert. To photograph a black dog against a dark background is going to be a challenge for any photographer, but the author of this image has created a beautiful shot for us all to enjoy. The first thing to strike the viewer is the deep brown soulful Labrador eyes with good catch lighting so that the dog's expression becomes the focal point of the image and by shooting close up and at a low level the author has managed to convey the character of the dog. The lighting has been excellently handled with the muzzle, nose and head being accentuated by an overhead light and a little fill-in on the ears and chest with just enough light behind to separate the dog from the background. A charming image of a most handsome dog. And next is the Commercial Photographer of the Year. So British Institute Professional Photography Commercial Photographer of the Year is... Da, da, da. Round of applause for Gavin Jowett, which is a beautiful image that I know as an architectural image, Sean Conboy was blown away with, and you'll hear his comments in a second about this image. I think this is a stunning architectural image. The light falling on the subject is beautiful. The angle and quality of the light is first class beautiful shadow detail to the left hand side of the subject which I really like. I particularly like the way that the uh, colour palette of this image is quite muted and I like the way the background is slightly hazy which lifts the subject off that background. I suspect the picture is taken in China uh, from past experience and you can get a lot of uh, air pollution out there which can give this sort of effect but I think it works beautifully in this image. I love the little section to the right hand side of the image, the little red area and the grey area. It's really nice colour palette. I think it's very powerful. I think it sells the subject very well. I love the lines from the bridge again on the right hand side of the image. It's just a stunning picture and very well done to the author. Really, really like this picture. And finally, uh, the British, British Institute of Professional Photography Fine Art Photographer of the Year is Paul Lowry with this amazing image here. This beautiful image shows great skill, both artistically and emotionally. The ease at which the model looks, the lines, the soft curves created, the beautiful light created along the edge of the body, and the hands and face as they rest softly. Not an easy image to create with poise and elegance as you read this image like a book, starting at the toes and allowing the lines to walk you through the image, finishing at the fingertips. It's an exquisite fine art image. So here we are guys, this is it, the, uh, the climax, um, the overall British Institute Professional Photography uh, Photographer of the Year. 
uh, which will receive uh, one of the larger beautiful trophies that we've got here. Uh, we're going to get them in the post here, but we're also going to do interviews with all the category winners and all the silver, uh, silvers, which were the runners up, and plus obviously the photographer of the year. So the photographer of the year for 2020 is Paul Lowry. Congratulations, Paul, and uh, well done for being our photographer of the year with the British Institute of Professional Photography. Well done. Hi, I'm Paul Wilkinson, and it was an absolute privilege and a pleasure to be one of the judges on this year's BIPP print competition. And it's a real honour for me to be the person that gets to talk a little bit about this exquisite image from Paul Larry, the image that went on to win overall. It's a beautiful image. It's beautifully conceived. The idea that the shape of the image, the form, the lighting, and then, of course, the execution, which is all important in a print competition, was just stunning. The light work on this image is so lovely and it draws your attention to the very feminine nature of the image. But if you look carefully, there are parts of the image that are very angular. The block that the um, woman is on, the way her legs are positioned, give these great triangles and very geometric shape. And then as you move to the right of the image, of course, it softens out and becomes that exquisite feminine form. With the lighting, the lighting looks like it could almost be in a cavern. There's that pool of light coming down across the image and it just gives this romance to it, this sort of ambience, this tremendous feel to it. The print was beautiful. The idea is great. The execution is top draw. This was truly a deserving winner and every single judge loved it. So congratulations to all the people who entered. Uh, you did an amazing job. There's some beautiful images this year. The category winners, obviously fantastic, and are Paul with the, with the overall photographer of the year. Um, the, the photographers who got bronze and silvers, fantastic as well, really well done. Um, so we're going to be interviewing everybody over the next few days. Uh, it's going to go into our magazine, which will be going out. It's a little bit later than normal with everything that's been going on, but in about two weeks' time, uh, we're going to do some features on you. Plus, over the next couple of weeks, what we're going to be doing now in these unprecedented times is uh, hopefully giving you value in your membership by interviewing lots of photographers and lots of leading experts uh, to, to say what they've been up to and how they're uh, working through these challenging times. But we're together. We're, we're, we're a very strong organisation. Um, with the groups that we've got going on and the things that we're going to have been going on online, we know we're going to get through these very difficult times and we've just got to keep smiling and keep positive. I know it's a difficult thing to say when you've got to put food on the table and pay our bills, but everybody is in the same boat. So be safe, um, good luck and keep in contact. We're, we're here, we're going to work through this. If we finish up having to close the building here, we'll be working from home, so you'll still be able to call us and uh, message us and uh, we'll be running the competition again very soon and we've got a lot to look forward to. Be safe. I know it's going to be a tricky few weeks, but hopefully we'll all come out on top at the end of it.